You're listening to the Move Girl Podcast. I'm your host, Ariana Janae. What is up, guys? Welcome to the Move Girl Podcast, the very first episode. I am so excited to finally be sharing this podcast with you guys. It has been a long time coming. I've been saying I wanted to have a podcast for about two years now and finally decided to face my fear of making my own podcast and just doing it. So on this podcast, I'm going to be sharing so many wild stories that I've never, ever told before, as well as the lessons that I learned from them, because Lord knows I've learned a lot of lessons, a lot of lessons, and I'm still learning, so I'll share those along the way as well. And I will also be having some special guests on the show to tell their stories and their lessons learned as well, so it's going to be so much fun. But first, let's talk about the name. The Move Girl podcast is all about moving on up, moving forward, but most importantly, it's about moving out of your own way. I had to stop myself from clapping during saying that sentence, you know, like move out of your own way because I'm so used to doing things on camera, but there's a mic right here. So, you know, we're going to keep that audio nice and clear for our audio listeners on iTunes and Spotify and wherever else you're listening. Hello. Thank you for tuning in. But anyway, we have so much more control over our lives than we actually think we do. Now, we can't control outside situations, of course, because so many things wouldn't be happening in our world, in America especially right now. But we can control how we react. We can control our mindset. And we can control so much more of ourselves and the energy we put out into the universe. So yes, that means we're going to get spiritual. We're going to get a little sassy. We're going to go all the way in on this podcast. Like I have a feeling that some of y'all might feel a little personally victimized by the end of an episode with everything that I have planned for y'all. Not personally victimized by me, but by yourself for what you allowed yourself to go through, y'all. It's gonna, it's gonna go there, y'all. So for this very first episode, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a backstory about me and how I started my self-love journey and how my life has already changed drastically since really, really, really investing in myself. It all started about two to three years ago, uh, 2017, 2018-ish. I was in a horrible place in my life, y'all. Like, I was depressed. I was broke. I was surrounded by people that didn't have my best interest at heart. I was living in a place that I I felt like was a dungeon. It was not not a very good place in my life. I was I was just really 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 unhappy. On top of that, my love life sucked so bad. That's like the best way to describe how I felt about that period of my life. It just sucked. It sucked so bad. Like most of my dating story times on my YouTube channel were from that time period. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then check out my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash it's airy baby. That's I-T-S-A-R-I-B-B-Y. Don't judge me. There is no A in the baby. I made it when I was 15. So, you know. But anyway, I had so many horrible dating story times from that time period. I almost killed a man on a date, y'all. I gave him a piece of gum and he choked on it while he was driving both of us. We both almost died. You know, that that's just one of the stories. But I ended up making light of a lot of the things that I was going through at that time by making a story time about it or making a video about it and laughing about it. But on the inside, y'all, I was I was falling apart. I was falling apart. Also around this time, I began learning about law of attraction. God knew what he was doing. He put a video in my recommended. I was like, oh, what is this? And I clicked on it and it was all about law of attraction. And it led me to watching The Secret on Netflix. If you haven't watched it, I definitely think you should. I highly recommend. Um, But I started watching that. And I also started building up my one-on-one relationship with God. And I started opening up to my friends about how I was feeling and my mental health. And it was really, really refreshing to be able to talk about how I was feeling, to be able to express myself through prayer and to start focusing on what I wanted in life with the law of attraction. And opening up to my friends made me realize that I wasn't alone, 
except for the fake friends, you know, who kind of use me opening up to benefit themselves and then to use against me. And, you know, that's a whole nother episode, though. That's a whole nother episode, which we will talk about. We will have right here on the podcast. Y'all just stay tuned. We're going to talk about fake friends and toxic people. But yeah, another time, another time. So back to real friends. Around this time, my friend Alex was going through a really, really, really tough breakup. And she was seeing this therapist. It was over the phone. And she actually decided to buy me a session with her therapist because I was just really, really going through it. I was having a really bad day one of these days. And she was like, girl, I got you. So she hooked me up with her therapist. It was a phone session. And of course, I took it. It was my first time ever speaking to a therapist. And it was like a spiritual therapist. So I was able to talk about God and things like that, which I really enjoyed. And somehow we got on the topic of self-worth and self-love. And she told me, okay, look at yourself right now. Just look at yourself where you are. You are enough. You right now, as you are, without any extra, just you in this moment, you are enough. You are more than enough. Y'all, I know that sounds so basic, but... I never, ever, ever just stopped in a moment of me sitting on the bed in my little ugly pajamas, looking crusty, and looked at myself and said, you are enough. Ariana, you're enough. I never did that before. It never occurred to me to actually do that for myself. And I got emotional. I'm not even going to lie. I got emotional because I was like, wow. I never thought of myself as enough by just existing. I always based my self-worth and my self-love on my accomplishments, which is something I never knew until that moment. And there are moments in my life where I'm on top of my game and I feel so good about myself. I'll be hosting, I'll be working, I'll be doing my thing. But there are times where it's a slow season and I'm not working as much or I'm not getting dressed up as much as I do to go out and about. I'm not attending as many events. And those moments were the moments that I would feel so down and so low and feel like I wasn't worthy. And of course, there was always the underlying issue of being a black woman here in America that already just chips at your self-worth since you're born. I always felt like I had to do more and go above and beyond just to be seen at the same level as the white people that I was up against or working with or you know doing whatever with so that was a big reason why I always based my worth off of my accomplishments because I felt like I'm doing this I'm doing this I'm doing this so so that means I am worthy but that was so unhealthy because When I wasn't and when I was just chilling and just relaxing and just hanging out with friends, I didn't feel worthy. But that was the thing that I had to change. I knew in that moment that I wanted to fall in love with myself. I wanted to love everything about myself. I wanted to really get to know myself and love every bit of me. And the things that I didn't love, like the laziness or if I'm being too emotional about something that shouldn't have as much emotion in it you know those were things that I had the power to change and when I made up in my mind that I was going to become my best self and live my best life and love everything about me the floodgates opened and Jesus said yes okay that's not really what happened you know not exactly like that but pretty much Everything started aligning. And I used to think that was such a cliche saying. People always say, once you make up your mind about your goal, everything will align. I thought it was just like an easy phrase to say to get people off your back. Like, nah, whatever. Do what you want to do and it'll align. Like, that's what I literally thought that's what it was. But I kid you not, once I made up my mind about wanting to love myself and wanting to better myself... Everything in my life shifted. My recommended videos on YouTube started to become more and more about energy, law of attraction, God, self-worth, self-love. All these YouTubers I had never seen before were just popping up. And it might have been because, you know, the FBI agents be listening to our phones and stuff and maybe they 
heard me talking about it or something. I don't know. I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to say it was God. But I started to really, really get into my spirituality and loving myself and positivity. I started meditating more and I began to see my life change right before my eyes. I moved out of my apartment. I was starting to see my circle get smaller. And I know that sounds like, wait, your circle got smaller? You were losing friends? I wasn't losing friends. I was losing people that were showing themselves as my friend and really doing horrible things or feeding negativity into my life, making me feel bad about myself. I was losing them. Not even losing them. I was letting them go. I was starting to listen to more podcasts about self-love and self-worth and manifestation and making money, being a boss, babe. All these books were starting to pop up in my recommended. My advertisements were getting all spiritual. Y'all, it was crazy. Everything in my life just started coming together. I even started working more, working more consistently out of nowhere, people were contacting me and emailing me and wanting me to work for their companies and wanted me to audition. I got into audition rooms that I have been dreaming of going into since I was a teenage girl. Like everything that I wanted started to come to fruition. I'm even in a relationship right now, y'all. Your girl is wifed up, wifed up. I went from a life where my phone was turned off. I was surrounded by people who literally sucked the energy out of me. They sucked the positivity out of me. And just living a life that I didn't really enjoy to booking jobs consistently, meeting my soulmate, living a life that I'm proud of and actually loving myself and taking my me time and getting to understand myself. And I'm just so much happier than I've ever been with my own life. It feels so good to know my own worth and to be surrounded by people that know their worth and bring others up instead of putting people down to make themselves feel better. My circle is incredible and has gotten me through so much. I'm just so grateful. Now, all that to say, my life is not perfect at all, but I don't want a perfect life. I don't think anyone really wants a perfect life because that means you're not learning. There's nothing to strive for. There's nothing. There's no goal. There's no learning experience. So no, my goal is not to live a perfect life at all. My goal is to live my best life. And that means learning from my setbacks instead of staying in the why me or the victim mentality. Get out of that and figure out how to move forward. That means Focusing on ways that I can better myself every single day. And that doesn't mean like having to get up and do something every day. Because there are days where it is so hard to get out of bed. Or so draining with everything going on in the world and everything in the media. And that's okay. But you can better yourself by taking a mental health day. That's still bettering yourself. Getting away from all the negativity. Taking a love bath. Relaxing with yourself. That is still bettering yourself. And if you focus on making sure your mental health is great and your environment is great, then everything else in your life will just fall right into place. It'll align, that align word again. It'll all align. And that's what I want for everybody listening right now. I want y'all to live y'all's best lives too. I want y'all to be focused on bettering yourselves. And I want y'all to not settle for less than you deserve. I want y'all to know your worth. But most importantly, I just want y'all to be happy. I want y'all to enjoy your life because nobody else has to live your life except for you. You have to enjoy your own life. You live every moment inside of your own head. So your thoughts need to be good thoughts and your environment needs to be a healthy, good environment. So I just want us all to focus on making sure that our own personal lives are a life that we love living. So that's a little bit of an overall backstory about how I got into my self-love journey. On the next episode, I'll be diving a little bit deeper. I'm gonna go into the actions that I actually took 
book to change my mindset, to get rid of my subconscious blockages, things that were blocking my blessings because, you know, I was really blocking my own blessings. I had to move out of my way for real, hence the name Move Girl. So I'm going to talk about those. I'm going to go into detail and just share a little bit more of a vulnerable side to this whole journey. I'm nervous, y'all. I'm not even going to lie. But I'm sharing this all in hopes that I can help somebody else that was where I was or somebody else that just wants to simply change their lives. It sounds dramatic. I know it does, but it's true. It really is true. So if you're ready to stop blocking your own blessings and you want to make sure you tune in to the next episode. All right, guys, before we go, I have a little bit of a challenge for you guys. I want you guys to pick three things that you love about yourself. Pick them right now, three things. So for example, I love my sense of humor. I love my creativity and I love, I love my curls. We'll say that. Okay. Have you picked three things? I hope so. Every day this month, I want you to repeat those things to yourself three times every single day, whether that's writing it in a journal three times in the morning or looking in the mirror and saying it to yourself out loud three times in a row. I want you to find a way to repeat it three times to yourself every single day. I know this sounds awkward and weird, but you do this to your loved ones. You tell them you love them and you hug them and you tell them things you love about them. So why not do it to yourself? It's time to start normalizing loving ourselves without making it seem like we're being cocky or conceited. No, we're just expressing love just like we express it to everyone else. Express it to yourself. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to the first episode of the Move Girl podcast. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to follow the Move Girl Instagram. It's Move Girl Podcast. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Love you so much. See you guys. Bye.